Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel World of Software Testing. In this lecture, we'll discuss about the third level of software testing that is system testing. So we have already covered first level and second level of testing that is unit testing and integration testing in our previous lectures. In this lecture, we'll discuss about the third level that is system testing. So what is system testing? System testing means testing the system as a whole in the context of either system requirement specifications or the functional requirement specifications or in the context of both that is system requirement specification and the functional requirement specification. So here if you want to do the system testing we need to test the complete system as a whole. Okay. So if you want to do a system testing all the modules or the components are integrated in order to verify if the system works as expected or not. So we'll see with the help of example what is integration testing and what is system testing. So if an application has three modules, let's say model A, model B and this third model that is model C. So if we are combining these modules as A or B, B or C or A or C and then we are doing the testing then that testing term as a integration testing and then integrating all these three modules and then tested the complete system then we can call it as a system testing so we are combining this all these three it means the system testing so this is basically the difference between system testing and integration testing so this this is playing the important role in delivering the high quality product. The system testing is basically performed by a testing team that is independent of the development team that helps to test the quality of the system impartially. It has both functional and non-functional testing. System testing is a black box testing. System testing is performed after the integration testing and the acceptance testing. So if you consider the waterfall model or the V model, then you will understand it, it, it is performed after the integration testing and before the acceptance testing. The system testing is nothing but an end to end system, end to end testing. So end to end testing is nothing but a testing the complete functionality from its initial to the completion. So it means testing the overall functionalities of a system, including the data integration among all the models is called as a end to end testing. So every model to be tested end to end, such as login, adding, add, 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 adding the users here, then edit or delete user and then logging out. So this is nothing but a end to end testing. So before the software delivered to customer or in production, it has to go through the system testing in QA environment, which is similar to the production environment. Because the QA environment is exactly the replica of a production environment. And that is hardware and software should be similar in terms of their configurations. So we'll come to this environment part in our upcoming lectures in detail. So let's understand system testing with an example of a car manufacturing. So any car manufacturer does not produce a car as a whole car. Instead, instead the each of the part of the cars such as wheels, brakes, chassis, lamps, mirrors, steering, seats, axle, etc. Separately, all these parts are manufactured separately. After the manufacturing of the each part, it is tested independently to test whether it is working the way it's expected to work. So now when each of the part is assembled with another part, that assembled combination is checked if assembling has not produced any side effect to the functionality of each component and whether both the components are working together as expected. That is called as the integration testing. So what we have seen here as a A or B, then B or C and A or C, which is an integration testing. It is similar to the assembly of the two or more parts in car manufacturing. So once all the parts are assembled and the car is ready, it is not ready actually. The whole car needs to be checked for different aspects as per the requirements defined. Like let's say uh, if the car can, can be driven smoothly or not, brakes, 
gears and other functionality is working properly or not car does not show any signs of tiredness after being driven for let's say uh, 3000 miles continuously Co color of the car is generally working properly or not color of the car is generally accepted or liked or not car can be driven on any kind of roads like smooth uh, and rough sloppy and straight or not so lot of aspects we need to check as a whole car on, on the uh, completion of the car assembly as well so this is nothing but a system testing and it has nothing to do with the integration testing so this is basically the system testing is let's understand the types of system testing now so basically uh, due to the inclusion of system testing as a all of the major testing kinds system testing is a superset of all the testing types so although the emphasis on the particular testing methods may change depending on the product organizational procedures deadline and the requirements so the fun first testing type is a functionality testing so we are going to cover all these uh, testing types in more detail in our upcoming lectures we are just taking a overview of these testing types here so the first type is a functional testing so the functional testing is basically to make sure that the functionality of a product is working as per the requirements defined within the cap capabilities of the system or not the second type is a recovery testing recovery testing is to make sure how well the system recovers from various input errors and other failure situations the third one is a interoperability testing so to make sure whether the system can operate well with the third party products or not the fourth type is a performance testing so this is to make sure that the system's performance under the various condition in terms of performance characteristics the next one is this scalability testing which is to make sure that the system scalable scaling ability in various terms like user scaling geographic scaling and the resource scaling the next is sixth type that is reliability testing so to make sure the system can be operated for a longer duration without any errors or any failures we can say the next is the regression testing so the regression testing is to make sure that the system's stability as it passes through an integration of different subsystems and the maintenance task the next is documentation testing the documentation testing is to make sure that the system's user guide and other help topics documents are correct and usable security testing the security testing is to make sure that system does not allow unauthorized access to the data and resources and the last one that is the number 10 user usability testing so to make sure that the system is easy to use learn and operate so apart from these testing types there are other types of system testing as well which are the graphical user in, user interface testing compatibility testing then exception handling volume testing stress testing sanity testing smoke testing exploratory testing ad hoc testing and installation testing these are again very very important in terms of uh, cracking the interviews interviewer definitely going to ask these these types of testing in interviews so we'll again uh, take a just overview in this tutorial and then we can uh, take a detailed overview in our upcoming lectures so the first one is graphical user interface so this is a graphical user interface gui also called as gui or gui we can pronounce it so GUI testing is done to verify if the GUI of the system works as expected or not. So GUI is basically what is visible to the user while he uses the application. GUI testing also involves testing buttons, icons, checkboxes, list box, uh, text box, menus, uh, toolbars, di dialog boxes. So whatever we, we, we can see on the screen that is comes under the uh, GUI testing. So we are checking this kind of stuff in, in with the help of graphical user interface testing. The next one is the compatibility testing. 
so competitive testing is done to ensure that the developed product is compatible with different browsers hardware platforms operating systems and databases as per the requirement document so what is defined in the requirement document that has to be compatible the third is exception handling the exception handling testing is performed to verify that even if an unexpected error occurs in the product it should shows the correct error message and does not let the application stop it handles the exception in a way that the error shown meanwhile the product recovers and allows the system to process the incorrect transaction so this is exception handling the next is volume testing the volume testing is a type of non functional testing wherein the testing is done using a huge amount of data so for example the volume of data is increased in the database to verify the system performance so this is the volume testing the next is the stress testing so the stress testing is done by increasing the number of users at the same time on an application to an extent that the application breaks down so let's say uh, the application has a capacity of uh, let's say 1000 users so if the if the users are are less than 1000 uh, then the application should not uh, should not get broken and then we can say this is this is basically to identify uh, this uh, capability of the application uh, to which extent our application can withstand uh, the uh, stress the next is the sanity testing the sanity testing is performed when the build is released with the change in code or the functionality or if any bug has been fixed so it verifies that the changes done has not affected the code and no other issue has occurred because of that and the system works as a as as a, as a previous behavior so if in if in case any issue occurs then that build is not accepted for further testing so this is basically a sanity testing which is done on every build at the start so basically in case of uh, sanity testing thorough testing is not done for the build in order to save time and uh, cost as it re as it rejects the build for an issue found sanity testing is done for the change done or for the fixed issue and not for the complete system so basically we are we are running some of the uh, uh, standard cases in case of sanity testing and and just to check uh, if the build is working properly or not the next is the smoke testing the smoke testing is a testing that is performed on a build to verify if the build is further testable or not so again this is this is similar uh, similar kind of uh, sanity testing but this is to to to, to verify if the build is uh, testable or not so if the build is stable or not so it verifies that the build is stable uh, to test and all the critical functionalities are working fine so the smoke testing is done for a complete system that is end to end testing is done the next is exploratory testing so uh, so just to mention uh, will detail will will uh, discuss in detail related to this sanity and smoke testing because this is a interesting uh, question getting asked in the interviews the next is the exploratory testing so as the name suggest it is exploratory it it is all about exploring the application so we are we are having the new application and we just need to explore it so no uh, scripted testing is performed in the exploratory testing test cases are written along with the testing and it it focuses more on the execution than uh, the planning tester has a freedom to test on its own using his intuition experience and, and intellect a tester can choose any feature to test first that is randomly he can pick uh, the feature to test unlike the other techniques where the structural way uh, is used to perform the testing next is the ad hoc testing so the ad hoc testing is a informal testing where where no documentation or planning is done to test the application the tester tests the application without any test cases the aim of tester is to break the application and the tester uses his experience gaze and intuition to find out the critical uh, issues in the application so uh, with the help of ad hoc testing a uh, tester can find out the hidden hidden uh, issues in the application 
the install then next is the installation testing the installation testing is to verify if the software gets installed without any issues so if you are uh, developing the application once that uh, application is developed that needs to be installed so there should not be any issues at the time of installation that can be checked with the help of installation testing so this is the most important part of testing as the installation of software is very first interaction between user and the product the type of installation testing depends on various uh, factors like operating system uh, platform distribution of software etc there are a lot of uh, factors uh, related to this so these are the uh, some of the other uh, types of testing so let's understand some of the advantages and disadvantages of the system testing so the first is again testers do not require more knowledge on programming to carry out testing so tester don't need to have any uh, programming knowledge it will test the entire product or a software so that we will we will will easily detect the errors or defects which cannot be identified during the unit testing and integration testing because we are testing the complete system as a whole the testing environment is similar to that of the real time production or the business environment so the qa environment we are which we are uh, testing the application on that should be with the same configurations not the same but uh, somehow they, they are similar to the production which is a replica of the production environment so it checks the entire functionality of a system uh, which uh, diff with a different test scripts and also it covers the technical and business requirements of a client so this is the entire uh, to check the entire functionality of a system and then after this testing the product will almost cover all the possible bugs or errors and hence the development team will confidently go ahead with the acceptance testing because the fourth level of testing after this system level testing is a acceptance testing so that's why uh, the system testing is is very very important uh, to be carried out before the acceptance testing so these are the advantages of uh, system testing so let's understand some of the uh, disadvantages as well uh, for the system testing so this is a time consuming process so uh, basically the system testing is generally a time consuming process than all other testing techniques since it checks the entire product or a software the cost of testing uh, will be high since it cover the testing of entire software so high cost and then need a good debugging tool so it needs a good uh, debugging tool otherwise the hidden errors will not be uh, found so that that may uh, get leaked to the production environment so these are some of the disadvantages of uh, system testing so thanks for watching this video hope you have uh, like our video uh, so please do subscribe our youtube channel for such more interesting videos on software testing concepts and also click on the bell icon to get the latest updates so in the upcoming lectures we'll again dig further into the software testing concepts so thanks for watching thank you